free blues boxing hit the like subscribe and the notification bell for a new boxing content we are bike yo what is up world of boxing if you didn't know by now keith one time thurman is taking on mario barrios uh, it's gonna be live on fox pay-per-view saturday february the 5th now to me this is an interesting fight to have been made you have keith one time thurman who I consider is a veteran now, 33 years old, a former WBA and WBC welterweight champion, 29 and one with 22 knockouts. You got Mario El Azteca Barrios uh, making his welterweight debut, 27 and one, jumping up, making the leap from junior welterweight. There's a lot of factors and different variables I wanna cover going into this fight, which makes it so interesting to me. If you're a Keith Thurman fan, I know you're super excited to finally see him back. Uh, you know, the, the two-year layoff, he hasn't fought. Coming off a loss against the great Manny Pacquiao, a seven-division world champion. I mean, I'm not afraid to say Keith Thurman has been at the top of the game from, you know, the era of 2015, 2016, all the way up until that loss in 2019. I honestly had Keith Thurman beating Manny Pacquiao as my prediction and going into that fight. But you can't, you, can't, you can't rule out Manny Pacquiao and his skills and what he brings to the table. Just so, seeing Manny Pacquiao's career, fast forward to now, him retiring after the Ugas loss. And we just all know what it, the boxing community know what it is. Father Time has caught up with Manny Pacquiao. One thing I want to highlight now is Keith Thurman has been out the ring four years out of the last five, I repeat, four years out of the last five. The only active year was 2019 when he fought Manny Pacquiao. Now, as a boxer, going into your 33rd year, he's been boxing his whole life. Mind you, Keith Thurman was dropped in the Manny Pacquiao fight, so he's probably scared of the damage that you know that that he could take here the second half of his career. Now, in a recent interview, Keith Thurman goes, "This is my life. This is what I do. This is my passion." Boxing is my American dream come true. Entertaining the fans and getting criticism from all those other people, all that clickbait material is my dream come true. So I don't have to hate on the haters. I appreciate that they still have the time to talk about me. And I appreciate that they doubt me because your doubt motivates me. I do this for you. I do this for me. And I do this for Martin Luther King because I'm living my dream. I love the sport of boxing. And I think this is one of the most beautiful sports, one of the most complex sports, one of the most hardest sports in the world. That's why it's the, one of the only sports that demand pay-per-view. Now, that was Keith Thurman's response, obviously, to all the hate. And maybe it could just be a response to, you know, reality of, of how the boxing world actually feels of, you know, about his career going forward. His inactivity has his fans questioning, can he actually come back? And the sources are also talking about how, you know, is, is this fight versus Mario Barrios, is it actually, you know, a pay-per-view attraction? Personally, I don't think so. Keith Thurman is known for, you know, doing this tune-up fights. When he fought the, the guy, Josecito Jose Lopez, you know, he didn't, he didn't look like, you know, who he was, you know, when he fought a Sean Porter or when he fought a Danny Garcia. And I know the first layoff for two years, he, he did have the, I believe it was an elbow or an arm injury. I'm not saying that he's faking or he's ducking or dodging anybody, but I have to say it's just extremely important when it comes to boxing and furthermore, how you're going to perform in the ring. It kind of reminds me of one of my favorite fighters right now, what Errol Spence is going through. We see what happened after he fought Sean Porter and, uh, you know, the car accident, the, motor, the car accident, you know, him having a layoff uh, pretty much the whole 2019 and, and half of 2020 before getting in the ring with Danny Garcia. And then following after the Danny Garcia fight, Errol Spence was supposed to be the Ugas and retire Manny Pacquiao. I actually thought I had Errol Spence stopping Manny Pacquiao going to the fight, but we see what happened with Errol uh, and his eye injury and how he wasn't able to get that pay-per-view fight. And that one was a bummer. I mean, they, they had the whole press conference built up. Errol Spence actually landed in Las Vegas and right before the fight, about a week, the doctors had, uh, you know, gave him the checkup and it, it, he didn't clear. 
in my opinion, inactivity will always be a killer when it comes to the sport of boxing. You got to stay fresh. You got to stay on your toes, especially when you got these young, hungry lions like Virgil Ortiz or Jerron Boos Ennis, who's staying in the gym, staying hungry, staying young and ready to dethrone, you know, these veterans or whoever has the belt at the time. Now, regarding Mario Barrios, who just got uh, just coming off his his pay-per-view debut against your Bonte Tank Davis uh, in the summer, a great champion, a great technical fighter. Um, you know, just ran into a young star like Gervonta Tank Davis and got technically knocked out. Uh, you know, that's just what it is. It comes with the sport of boxing. Stylistically, it does make a good fight. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see who's going to win this fight between Mario Barrios and uh, Keith Thurman. I honestly think it's a toss-up. I will say if Keith Thurman was still in his prime, you know, the Keith Thurman versus a Danny Garcia or Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter, uh, I see him easily beating or stopping Mario Barrios. But there's so many different variables that's going to determine this fight. I think it's going to come down to the jab. Honestly, if Josecito Lopez hurt Keith Thurman to the body, if, I don't know if, if y'all seen that fight. Mario Barrios has a good jab as well. And it's just going to be whoever has the better jab. Keith Thurman, obviously, is explosive, a power puncher. One thing I respect about Keith Thurman and he's not gun shy. He lets his hands go and he puts on some of the most exciting fights I've ever seen. If I'm not mistaken, him versus Sean Porter, well, I think one is the mo- one of the most exciting fights I've ever seen. Sean Porter obviously retired now after uh, the TKO by Terrence Crawford, I-, I think was also a great fight. When Thurman fought Pacquiao, uh, that was a- one of the-, the candidates for a fight of the year. It was a good fight. Keith Thurman obviously is soft on the body like a lot of boxers. Uh, he got dropped in the first round. And pretty much since then, Keith Thurman has just been really luck- really unlucky. Um, he stated that he caught COVID in 2020. That was, that was why uh, he wasn't active that year. And then 2021, just, you know, the politics, he hasn't been able to land a good fight. He doesn't want to fight a Jerron Boots Ennis. Or Virgil Ortiz because that he probably thinks it's not pay-per-view worthy. So I, I kind of look at this as just a business fight. Keith Thurman obviously won some cheese since his last pay-per-view fight. He still believes he is a pay-per-view attraction. So yeah, they just kicked off their press conference today. If you guys want to catch that and, uh, and you know just read Keith Thurman and Mario Barr's demeanor ahead of their fight in Las Vegas, uh, put in the comment section who you think is the best at the welterweight division, and who you think is going to win between Keith Thurman and Mario Barrios. Yo, thank you so much for watching Free Blues Boxing. To support the channel, hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell for unlimited boxing content. Until next time.